All right, guys, so small little video. I'm gonna just show you how to change the brake fluid. So basically, you're gonna wanna lift up the car. I'm about to lift it up on all fours right now. Basically, you're gonna need a siphon, one of these things to siphon out the liquid from up there. And then you're gonna need, of course, brake fluid. I went with this one, Amsoil, which exceeds the recommended specs for the car. And then you're also gonna need one of these things. This is for like a self bleeder thing. But all you need to do basically with this is, it comes with this tube right here, and this is basically where you connect to the brake caliper, to the brake caliper, and then that drains it out. And then you could just use the bottle. I got this one. I'll leave links to all this stuff. The bottle, just to catch it, just in case, you know, it won't make a mess. And then recommend take the wheels off. Don't leave the wheels on. I've seen some people leave the wheels on and they just want to charge their wheel. Don't be doing that shit, guys. So let's just take off the wheels right now. All right, guys, so lifted up the car. Look, all, everything is lifted up. So basically you have to siphon out the fluid from up here. I already took off the cap. Shout out to PRL for the little sock right there. Took off the basic cap, you know. Basically right here, get a little screwdriver, take this thing out. It's like a catcher type of thing. I don't know, you just take it out just like that and then you're good. And then there, look, you can just siphon out all that nasty ass looking fluid. The car recommends to do it already. That's what it says in the infotainment system. So I'm gonna just do it already, guys, and just get it done, you know? Why wait on it? Why why put it for later when I can just get it done right now? Right here, cars lifted up. Just did the transmission, just did the oil, and now the brake fluid. That's all it's asking for. Didn't ask for transmission, but I did anyways. So now let's do the brake fluid, guys. Hell yeah. So Basically, we're gonna use the siphon thing. So basically, put one side in here. This is what I seen in a video. Shout out to, I forgot his YouTube channel name and what he, what he was doing, but you just need to shove it all, try to shove it in there as much as you can. If it doesn't fit, then you know, just try to move it around. Finesse it a little bit, try to get it in there. Freaking brake fluid, strut bar. Might be in the way for me, but we should be good, guys. We should be good. All right, I think we should be good. Okay, all right, start pumping it. Let's see how it works. Pump it, open it. Oh, shit. I'll hold it from up here. Let, let's see. Oh, well, hold up, go slowly. Don't let you just squirt it everywhere. What the fuck? You mess up the Nikes. Go slowly, Dumbo. Yeah, I should just squirt it. Keep on going, do it again. Do it slowly, though. Or is it just shooting out like that? It, it, this is a pretty good siphon, guys. We got it, I got it from Amazon. I'll leave the links to all this. Yeah, let me just clean the floor. Also, this stuff, the reason I say it's recommended to to take off the wheels is because this brake fluid stuff is kind of corrosive for metal. So if you just spray on your wheels and all this stuff right here, you're kind of asking for uh, trouble. So I recommend to uh, take off the wheels and then just clean it all up after pretty good with some brake cleaner or something. Let me see, all right, hold up. I'm gonna put it more. All right, guys, so done with the siphoning. Uh, look at that. Try shoving it in there on each side. Try getting as much as I can out. So we're pretty good with that. So now, bring me one of those bottles. We get one of these little bottles and then we basically just fill it up. So let's mix it up, how we do with the oil and everything and all that stuff. Let's open it up. And then now we're just gonna basically top it off to, damn, the straw bar makes it a little difficult. I might spill. You think I'm gonna spill? Now we're good. No spilling here. Hell yeah. So top it off to the part where it like lines up flat to where that uh, net thingy catcher thing was at. And that's where you do it until, we're gonna fill it up until it reaches right there. That point, I could barely see. Yeah, and we're good right there guys. It's just a little over the thing and we're good. So now basically the process is after you do that, we have to, we have to basically go start with the front left, then passenger, then passenger rear, then driver rear. Then I believe do front left again, then do the e-brake, remove it, put it back on. It's a, it's a sequence, it's in the manual. I found it online. So I'm gonna just look at that. Then my bro's gonna step on the brakes so that no air bubbles can get into the, the thing and mess it all up. So we should be good to go right now. So basically we just have to top it off. 
You just have to close it right now, put the pressure back on it, and then you're gonna step on the brakes and then loosen up that stuff. All right, guys, so I got the bottle thing. It's like a little magnet tool thing. If you wanna put it on like right there, right there, let's say, put the tube right here, then do it out. But honestly, I'm gonna just be holding it for now. I'll just put it right here. And then you could just put it right here and then see how it looks, the fluid as it comes out. So it should be coming out more cleaner after we do this a couple times. So my bro's gonna go inside and he's gonna step on the brakes when I tell him to, is he, he's gonna let go when I tell him to. All right, so close it. All right, so you ready? I'll tell you when to do it. Well, hold on. So basically guys, look, you just take off this little cap right here. This is for a 10th gen. I'm doing it on my SI. This is probably the same process for any other 10th gen. And honestly, any other car out there, this should be the same process. And I believe, the little thing right there is a 10 mil to loosen it and tighten it. Yeah, it's a 10 mil to loosen it and tighten it. All right, so you ready? All right, so step on a brake. You're holding it? All right, keep on holding it and I'm gonna open this up, see how it looks. Oh, shoot. Did it go down? Yeah. All right, keep on holding it though. You're holding it, right? All right. goes the liquid I'm turning it back up all right let go it's pretty cool all right tighten it back up now all right hold it again down how does it feel changed did it go down so it's like super hard all right I'm opening it up again hold up keep on holding it holding it still keep on holding it did it go all the way down yet it's all the way down all right keep on holding it all right guys and that should be the process so basically you're gonna have to do that with every single side so start with front left front right rear right rear left and then it says to engage the brake system the parking brake thing five times and then redo the rears so basically after this you want to check the the level of the thing up there and see how it looks all right you're not holding it down anymore right all right so you basically want to check this see how it looks so it's still good so i'm gonna move on to the next side and get that side done it went down a little bit i could tell barely anything so now move on to the next side hell yeah guys so look you need to try to make it to look like this as much as you can um this is the rear driver's side so now look i'm gonna just close it up he's still stepping on the brake you have to close it up and then once you close it up there to let go to let go and then you just take this thing off it's kind of cheap though it was getting ripped all the time but it's pretty good it worked basically I'm, I'm pretty much done guys not just after you do the e-brake a couple times in the back and i just redo the other side and i already did this side and then the front are all good everything's good it looks good just right here since it's all mixed together it looks like this but i promise you this look way darker way before it looks super dark before but it's way better now and honestly this is pretty good and and to be honest guys i think i'm doing this way too early but at the same time it's what the car is saying to do already so i might as well right might as well so hell yeah Now you can check the whip and peel, damn this ticket is ill, gear shifting smooth as butter, cut in and out of lanes, undercover, style, wow, my mirror, the rear view, you can never fly by, homie, I will see you, Mark 5, change the reins if need be, thou shall never floor pass, I will the D.I.W. for you, act on,